What's up everyone, this is Grim Reaper Sage here. This is my three minute review for Skelethrone, The Chronicles of Ericona. Uh, shout out to Press Engine, uh, who are kind enough to give me the code from the publisher, Valkyrie Initiative. Uh, this is the PS4 version, there is no PS5 version. I did play it on my PS5, however. Uh, so yeah, so in the UK it's released on the 7th of the 8th, 2024, and is currently £9.79. Um, so yeah, so story I found was interesting and fun. Enemies, um, as a lot of them, all have their own look and own attacks, which is really good. Difficulty options, nice to suit all play styles, always good. Uh, level up options, as you just saw in there, they're really easy to explain. And again, you can pick and choose what you want to do, so you can make your own build, which is really good. Um, controls are easy to understand, easy to pick up and play. Yeah, it's not like 50 different combos you need to learn and stuff like that. Um, and the characters were really good. All had their own looking person. As you can see, you get everything from like farmer person to weird um, sort of Viking woman later on, and loads of different characters and that. And I like the art style. It was a nice detailed art style. And it was a very pretty game. Couple little negatives, however, for me is um, obviously it's a Souls type game, so obviously the combat is very challenging. I did die incredibly a lot, incredibly easy on this game. It doesn't have a health bar system on the enemies. Like on the bosses, it does, it has it on the bottom. Um, but on like the mobs, on like the standard enemies, it doesn't. So when you fight in a bunch of them, there's no health bar to know like, you know, oh, this one on the left is like half dead or not. Basically, the only way you know when they've done enough damage is they just die. Um, so yeah, so it's quite easy to get mobbed and get uh, killed. And the combat for me was annoying because it didn't have a lot of feedback when killing the enemies. You know, like you'd hit an enemy with a giant greatsword and it just felt as if you weren't hitting them. Like there was no impact or sort of recognition. Even when you were hitting the bosses, it just felt like you were just sort of tickling them. And it didn't have any weight or impact to them. Um, overall, I'd put this as a weight on a uh, weight on a sale, just because, like I said, it does have really cool story difficulty options, and um, you can make your own build, which is always good. But like I said, it's really easy to die with no health bar on the enemies, which can be annoying, and you know, um, the combat not feeling or having any real impact kind of hurt the fun. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please check out my blog, which is blog. Any questions, put in the comments. Drop it down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Um, if you enjoy, please subscribe. It helps an absolute ton get more games. As always, I'll see you soon.